So today's video is not what I thought it was going to be because we have got some problems on the bent grass, unfortunately. So I'll show you guys what's going on, how we're going to fix that, possibly going to spray the weeds. The wind's not too bad at the moment. Hopefully by the time we get to the weeds, it's not too windy because I'm not risking drift getting onto the bent grass. But yeah, some stuff going on, so I'll show you guys. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip. So, three days ago, I rolled this green, and it was great to fix up the edges, fix up the humps and bumps and everything like that, but unfortunately, it has stressed out the bent grass um, across the green. Not sure if you guys can see it on camera, but it's not looking as healthy as it has. You can see all these purpley patches. I did talk about in the last video that some of the sand came up. Um, but it's also what has happened that is burnt the tip of the leaf on the grass throughout a lot of areas. We've had a little bit of dieback where it wasn't super, super mature, unfortunately. Lots of green shoots coming through, but I'll show you. So if we have a look here, this is probably one of the worst areas, which it actually looks better than it did this morning, which is good. There's a lot of dead leaf throughout this whole area. Now, luckily there is green shoots coming back through and it looks a lot better than it did. It looked shocking yesterday. This morning it has really, really improved. We can see some through here as well. It's just thinner, but luckily a lot of green shoots pop them back through in these areas. So we'll put out some fungicides today for the leaf and crown diseases. So I'm gonna put out some Clortan 720 and probably some Heritage Max as well, just to prevent, well, to knock down for one with the Clortan and then we've also got prevention as well with the Heritage on top of that. So sort of killing two birds with one stone. And on top of that, we're gonna add some Vitalize to that as well. So Vitalize is gonna help that fungicide sort of be taken up in the plant just a little bit quicker. Um, and also help a little bit with our repair on this area as well. Lower in our nitrogen, because we don't push too much nitrogen just in case there is disease pressure. You just gotta be really careful. It depends on the disease. Sometimes you wanna push nitrogen, sometimes you don't. But since we're under stress, we're not gonna push too much nitrogen. It's got a bit of potassium, a bit of phosphorus in there, which is gonna be great for us, and our microbes as well. So they're gonna really help stimulate some growth. And we should see a bit of kickback in the next day or two, which is great. So we'll mix that up, spray it out, leave it on the leaf. We're not gonna cut this until the weekend. So today's Thursday. So probably not gonna cut this until Saturday. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I actually took the boom off and put the single nozzle on that sprayer because with that thicker product, the claw tan, it just wouldn't come out of the boom properly because there's not enough pressure that comes with that sprayer itself. So something like the 417, which has put pumps up to four bar, is great. That only pumps up to two bar. Whereas my comfort spray as well, my solo comfort one, the pump one actually does four bar as well. So it does better with the boom. Now if you're using like light liquid ferts and stuff, not a problem at all with that, with the boom. But as soon as I got to that thicker product, probably something like a wetting agent as well, you would find that it would struggle to push it out evenly and nicely as well. So just something I just learnt just then, good to know. Um, but it's definitely looking better just after the sun's come out, taking the dew off, definitely starting to repair already. This is just fail safe. As I've said, we're gonna make sure we mow less often at the moment until it starts coming back. Probably raise our height of cut back up to about 6.5 or even seven mil, just for a little bit. Just to let it fill in, just to let it repair. Not gonna get on top of our top dressing until it's just a little bit more repaired on top of that. Just gotta baby it back to health. Now, as I said, my mistake, got that roller on too early. Cutting down to 5.5 mil wasn't a problem. Getting down that lower height of cut, but we've just set it back a bit with putting a roll on it and just way too much weight and just, yeah, it wasn't smart. So unfortunately, I am not going to be spraying the weeds today. I know you guys are all me going on the comments about it, but we've got rain coming tomorrow and we want to put this down and not have rain within 24 hours, whereas it's supposed to start raining tomorrow morning-ish to afternoon, so I don't really want to risk it. I want to get a really good kill on it, but what we're going to use is something called Dicamba M, which has got some Dicamba and some MCPA in it. Going to go at a lower rate for the first time, just because the seed's so young. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that all the time because you do have chance of um, resistance with a chemical as well, but just for the first application, because it's never really seen any herbicides out here, 
We're gonna spray everything that's on the surrounds as well, everything that's around the outside, because look at this man. <laughs> look at the cabbage field. It's ridiculous. So we're gonna get rid of all this as well, because we've got an approach here in future. Fairway there, just up past that wheelbarrow, and then a tee box at the top. Tee box over there, tee box over there. So we won't spray it today, just because of that rain tomorrow. And I don't really wanna risk it, but Another thing I want to quickly mention is regular mowing will actually help produce weeds as well. So as you can see, these weeds are starting to stand up quite a bit. As you can see, they're popping up out of the ground. A bit of long grass there. But continuously mowing, if we do our next mow, we'd actually cut into that and stress the plant out. And that's a great cultural practice to get on top of your weeds as well as just regularly mowing. So I know this will start to reduce anyway, now that our mowing is about to kick back up. But yeah, I'm not going to get any out today, sorry, just I looked at the weather in between spraying that fungicide and noticed it does rain tomorrow. So last couple of things I wanted to mention was when you're trying to get rid of fungus, you're trying to get on top of it, you gotta make sure you take as much stress off the area as you can. So try not to water it too often because leaf wetness can cause diseases and cause more problems and cause spread. If you have to mow, keep the catcher on when you're doing it. On top of that, yeah, raise your height of cut if you can, if that's possible for you. That's gonna be your best way to go about it. Now, I'm only watering right now because I'm watering the seed on the edges, but I'm not watering the green itself. So I'm trying to keep moisture off the green as much as I can at the moment, just to allow it to come back through. That area that we've seeded all around here and put the tacker fire with it, we have got lots and lots of germination. Beautiful, look at that. Even the bank grass down here is all starting to germinate. Now it's day seven, a bit of ryegrass in there which once I start mowing it, it'll disappear. I'll have to pick it out. But it's great, we've got stuff everywhere, which is good. So this should hold a lot better than it would if there was nothing in there. We have got that storm coming tomorrow, so I might actually put some more tacker fire out tomorrow morning just before it rains, just to make sure this area is safe and we're not gonna get any wash because I don't even want to risk it, man. It'd be frustrating to be set back another week after getting some germination in here and if that washes out onto the green and everything wouldn't be fun back down to the green it's been 24 hours since i put out our vitalize and our fungicides and that vitalize has really helped this area repair in 24 hours like lots and lots of new green shoots in those really sick areas this was pretty much the worst spot here and you can see there's green shoots all throughout that which is just awesome so that's what that Vitalize product is really, really good at, is helping with a lot of stress on your lawn, helping things recover nice and quickly as well. Good if you've got a bit of a heat spell coming and even a bit of a cool weather as well, which we actually got. We're down to one degree at night tomorrow and 11 degrees for the top, so we've got some cold temps coming. But then it kicks back up towards 20 again at the start of the week, just a bit of a cold spell. But our edges didn't wash out, that tacker fire is doing its job. We had about six or seven mil in a couple of hours, so not any wash at all. A bit more seed popping up, which is awesome. Love it. Well, thank you all for watching so much. Really, really appreciate it. Good to see this thing repairing and coming back. Really, really glad <laughs> it come back. It was not nice, to be honest, like stressful. Um, but yeah, hopefully next week, well, next week we will have lots of things going on. We'll be doing dusting on the green. We'll be mowing it, obviously, giving it some more furt. We'll also be spraying the weeds out finally as well. So lots of stuff going on, lots of things to come in the next little bit. Appreciate you guys so much. Hope you guys have a good Easter and I'll see you guys in the next one.